Do you have a T Rex tooth? I have a carpet on, so it's good. All right. Check, check, check this out. Holy shit. Yeah, that's uh, that's about as big as they get. Wait, explain this shit. So Carcodontosaurus is likened unto the cousin of a T-Rex. He's not exactly a T-Rex. It's like the African cousin. How old is that, you think? Um, oh my god, 146 to 65 million years old. You just realize that like your life don't mean shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is badass. Right? It's tremendous. We're looking at something that's billions of years old. Yeah, I mean, I even bought a collection that has lunar uh, meteorites, um, some of the oldest, uh, even before solar meteorites. So we can't even date them. You can't even date them? Yeah. can't even date them. Yeah, because the calcium is pre-solar system. Yeah, everyone's asking the name of the store. And, and my followers... Oh, my, Astro West. Astro West. It's on 79th and uh, Columbus. Correct. On the corner. Third generation family business. First store was open in 1961. Holy crap. That's nothing though, because this thing is billions of years old right there. Exactly. I was like, that's why I started laughing in the back, because well, at the end of the day, when you're talking about 100 million years old, it's not even that old in here. Well, I, I, I like uh, coming into the store from time to time and going to a museum and seeing crap that's like millions of years old, and then you're like, why are we fighting with each other? It, over nothing. Over nothing. Yeah, well... That's a whole nother story. All right, fair enough. What else? Why fight when you can find a triceratops horn in your backyard in Montana? Wait, is that real? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a stegosaurus spike. Holy shit. A type so of raptor's claw, spinosaurus claw, spinosaurus tooth, spinosaurus vertebrae. And my favorite new ambers are with dinosaur feathers and a 90% complete scorpion. Dude, I saw an amber recently with, uh, I think it was a spider and a tick in it. And the spider and the tick looked like something you could find today, right? Oh, yeah. And this thing was millions upon millions of years old. I'm like, all right, what's going on with humans that, <laughs> like, the ticks and the spiders are pretty much the exact same all these years later, and we're not. It's a woolly mammoth, too. That's a woolly mammoth? Yeah. You think we'll bring back the woolly mammoth? I th actually, they're very close to getting the DNA. Uh, I think they got three quarters of the DNA strand. Yeah, and then they're going to, what, uh, mate it with an elephant or some crap I, like that? I really, I really hope they don't. I mean, honestly, Is it? you're pressing things at, right. point, at a certain point. Well, we're pressing things with the AI and the robots, too. I wouldn't be surprised if there's already, you know, a pretty close replica of it. Really? In I a lab somewhere? Think about it. <laughs> yeah. Would they tell us, really? No, I believe all that shit. I think most of the UFO, so, uh, excuse me, the UFO sightings back in the day were just shit we were working on, and they weren't ready to show us anything yet. 100%. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What are these two uh, teeth? Megalodon teeth. Megalodon. So they're about, uh, yeah, I was about to say there are local 10 million year old teeth. So the, the Megalodonies have about 3,000 teeth throughout its lifetime. And they go from anywhere from juvenile to the big guys in the back. Wow. That is awesome. Yeah. Anything over about six inches is hard to find. How, 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 old, are, how York, old are these teeth, you think? A New York scorpion in the back. So that's a sea scorpion from Herkimer, New York. Herkimer? Yeah. Near Wait, Utica. Exactly. I had a girl up there in Utica. I'm sure you had a girl in a few places. I'm not <laughs> going to say, I, I won't say anything on live stream. Uh, but yes, it's uh, I did all right, bro. I, I put up numbers, man. Yeah, I put up numbers. That's it. That's what you got to do. That's hilarious. I had a youth, too. What else can you show me real fast before I move on and what you got to do? The best part are the minerals in the back. What do you mean that's the best part? New yes. horses. Holy sh Oh, you're protecting these things. I noticed that these aren't in the front window. Absolutely not. Yeah, quartz from the Himalayas, uh, aquamarine from Pakistan, fluorite from England, uh, calcite from India, oh. amethyst stalactites from Uruguay, dodecahedral pyrite cluster from Peru, and what we're very, very proud of, new diaptase vines from the Congo. And now, how old is this stuff and, and how much? Uh, you're looking... Price-wise, anywhere from 150 grand down to about 20 grand. But at the end of the day, we're not sure on dates. We go from three to five million years old on crystals, and that's being lighthearted. Right. Because 
again, carbon dating is not something how, you can do certain crystals. How do you get all your money back? <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of it. I, you know what? If you don't have a passion for rocks, you should definitely not be in here. Because right. <laughs> at the end of the day, most of my money is in these cases. But yeah, these, you got to love what you do. A lot of this stuff is worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, and you bring home about, what, 50 grand a year? If that. <laughs> Especially if the IRS is watching. <laughs> all right, look at that. The horn of a, of a triceratops. I said that correctly, man. <laughs> All right, guys. Always a pleasure. I'll see you soon off camera. Be well. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for coming in. No, thanks for doing this. I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to be on camera, but this, this just made my live stream. I was about to say. We're thanks always, for uh, making my death. All right, right on, guys. We're always happy to host you and your family. All right, peace.